Hello children. Let's begin. Poem 1. He did it. By Mary Britton Miller. Children, have you ever stood on the seashore and watched the waves dancing and moving with high low ebbs? Do you have any experience of standing near the seashore and relaxing yourselves by dancing, playing and enjoying the waves? Have you ever thought of how waves break? Do you think you can conquer the waves? Let's see whether the boy conquered the waves in this poem. Listen carefully. Know about the poet. Mary Britton Miller, an American poet, was born in the year 1883. She became a novelist after her 60th birthday. Earlier she was writing only the poems and after her 60th birthday she started to write novels. So she became a novelist after her 60th birthday. She was died in the age 91 because of long term illness. The five books Miss Miller produced between the ages of 63 and 87 were all dictated in her Greenwich Village apartment because of failing eyesight. The famous works of Mary Britton Miller were Do I Wake or Sleep? It was published in the year 1946. The Christmas Tree was published in the year 1949. Many Mansions Under Gemini, A Memoir and The Wriggling of Time. I'll read the poem. He did it. Said the dangerous sea, you will not conquer me. Try as hard as you can. You are not a whale. You are not a shark. You cannot walk on the waves, young man. Here, there is a conversation between a young man and the wave. Wave has a face here. Both are speaking. What they are speaking? Here the wave is saying with the young man that a man cannot conquer the wave. What is the meaning of conquer? Conquer means win over. Here the wave is saying with the man that try as hard as you can. You are not a whale. Have you seen whale? Whether whale is small in size or very big in size? Yes. Whale is the biggest water animal in the world. So, here the waves saying with the young man that you are not a whale or you are not a shark. You cannot walk on the waves, young man. So, he made a boat that was able to float. Ho, ho, said his foe. It floats all right and it's watertight, but you can't make it go. By listening to the challenge of the way, the young man did something. What he did? He made a boat that was able to float. By looking at this boat, ho ho said this foe. What is the meaning of foe? Enemy. Yes, foe means enemy. Who is the enemy here? The wave is the enemy of a young man here. Again the wave said with the man that whatever you made a boat and it was able to float. Fine it floats alright and it's watertight. Watertight means waterproof boat you prepared. Okay. But you can't make it go. That means you can't conquer me. Oh, yes, I can, replied the young man. And he made some words and learned how to row. By listening to the words of the wave, the man gave answer. Yes, I can. He replied that, yes, I can. So he made some oars. Oars means paddle. What is paddle? 
A pole with a flat blade used to row or steer a boat through the water. See this picture. It is called paddle. So the young man made some oars, some paddle and learned how to row in water and how to come over, how to win over from this wave. When the sea saw the boats and the oars and all the rovers, he said, Young man, they make a fine show, but what will you do when they venture out? Here again the wave is making fun at the young man by saying that you cannot conquer me. What the wave is telling to the young man? It is telling that you are taking the risky job. Venture, venture means risky job. The other rovers, those who are rowing, they fell down. So here the wave is telling with the man that you can't come over me. By listening to these words, what the young man will do? Let's see in the next class. Recap. First, the wave is challenging with the man that he cannot conquer the wave. So, man made a boat and he learned how to row also. Let's see whether the man win over the sea or not in the next class. Hard words, dangerous, conquer, hard, floors, replied, learned, ang, venture, watertight, whale. So, write the hard words five times in your rough book. Thank you.